What is going on guys? This is Versus All Gaming with my review of Hamatora episode 7 and holy crap that ending. This episode, it was pretty freaking good, but now I definitely hate morale. I hope he suffers from a painful death because that right there was definitely pretty messed up. So the episode starts off with us going back to Chiyu, I believe that was her name, but we actually go back to her manager and we actually learn how he got his minimum power. And so he was on, he was surfing the internet, and he was, I think he was on like this forum, and they were talking about Chiyu, and somebody put a post saying that if he, if he does not like the, the way that, you know, things are going, then, you know, simply change them. And they link him to this weird site where he has to enter his, uh, his birthday, and when he does that, you know, his name was already in the system. And now, and now, you know, uh... And now if he follow these instructions that, you know, the site was giving him, then he'll be given this power. And so we see that, you know, he actually does that. And he kind of feels like because they know everything he's been saying, you know, he has to obey, you know, whatever this person, whoever runs this site. And we see that when he goes to, like, this empty room and he, and he takes a sip from this drink, he gets knocked out. But when he wakes up, of course, you know, he has this power. And so then we go back to Nice and Art who were talking, and we see that you know that that Nice has told Art everything about, about that case right there, and we and we also learn that Art here, I mean that Nice kind of tricked Art about you know talking about morale, because we see that he went to that uh, information broker and he looked through all the names of these people who used to be former researchers, but are no longer working there for unspecific like unspecific reasons. And we see that, you know, like, I, I, I believe that, that Morale was like the, uh, the second person he found. And, and Nice took this gamble here to see how, how he would, would react. So that right, there was that right there was definitely awesome. And it was like very smart of, of, uh, of Nice as well. But we see that Morale, he actually broke into the, uh, the uh, police department. And, and we see that, you know, they have these, they have the glad cases, and we see like all the body parts, but the one that Morella actually wants is the brain. And he was saying that, you know, whoever, whoever brain this is, their power it was so great that, you know, he actually called it a forbidden minimum holder. So I do wonder, you know, what kind of power is that they were just so strong that they were even preserving the body as well. And so we see once, once the uh, police guy got this call, and Art had went there, and Nice tagged along as well. And so we see that that Art was actually planning on having Morale picture posted everywhere, but Nice was saying that that right there wouldn't be a good idea. And you know, Nice is definitely smart. This guy is a genius as well. I'm definitely liking the brains on this guy. He might seem like an idiot, but he is pretty smart. And so we see, you know, while he was kind of like, you know, basically putting down our whole idea, he got really upset. And I believe that this right here is the first time that we have ever seen Art, you know, really get angry. And that right there even kind of depressed Nice. And we see that the guy that, like, runs that bar, even he was shocked to see that, you know, that Art really got so upset. But now we have Art, his partner, and Three and Honey. And, of course, they were talking about this, this case and what was going on. And we see that, you know, after they were done, because, you know, Art was saying that they should get some rest, because they'll never be able, you know, to really catch morale if they work themselves to death. And, you know, he does have a point when he says that. And so we have, uh, we have our partner here and Honey. They, they went to, like, this, uh, this room where smoking is allowed. And so we actually get this, like, little flashback and this quick story about how they were all in the same class. But they actually came there, you know, at different times and left for different times. So they were, like, never really together. And so, Raito and Birthday, they were the first one to leave because because of a, a birthday disease. And we all know that, you know, these two are best friends and, and you know, and Birthday and birthday and Raito had to promise. So, of course, they were, they were going to tag together. So, it made sense that, you know, if, if one leaves, the other one will follow. And it was definitely funny how we had Birthday here flirting with this nurse. And out of nowhere, we had Raito picking him up and throwing him with ease. That right there, which is so freaking hilarious. But then we have three who actually goes to art and he actually wants him to you know, the tag along with him. And they go to this dojo where they're sparring. And I was definitely surprised that we actually, you know, get this little story about their past about how even though art does didn't didn't uh materialize his minimum holder power, 
he actually came to three to teach him how to fight so that way he'll be on equal level with them physically and that right there definitely made a lot of sense and i was definitely shocked when like art through uh when art threw three over his shoulder that right there impressed me this guy is definitely strong and i'm glad that that we have seen you know our I mean, that we've seen three interact with like another character besides honey because you know he is definitely around her all the time so it's nice to see him, you know, acting around other characters. And in this manga that, you know, inspired this little lesson here, I believe it was called My Story. If that manga is real, then I would definitely advise looking into it because it seems to be a good series. Especially when it convinced, you know, when it convinced 3 to go to art and just try to reach out to him so that, you know, he could try to, like, trip his mood. But everybody is kind of worried about Art right now because he seems to be carrying too much of a load right now on the soldiers. And it's definitely weighing him down. I have never seen Art, you know, look so dead, you know, so exhausted in his eyes. You can just tell that in this episode right here, he looks so different than how we had normally, normally seen him. You can just tell that everything is just getting to him now. But we see that he actually goes back to Morale's home, which was burned down. And we see that the only thing that, you know, managed to survive it was with this, uh, with this garden. And, and the flower that was everywhere, it was the Black Cosmo, and we, and we know that we have seen him before. But then we have Nice and Murasaki, and they were doing this job where, like, some, some guy here was going around sleeping with these idols that these, like, kind of, like, nerds, they had really liked. And so they didn't like that too much. I believe that one of them got hurt some way, so they had really wanted, you know, this guy to put out a public apology. But clearly, he wasn't going to do that. And actually picked up who who uh, nice and Murasaki clients were because they were like a booth right you know right right next to them and that was kind of stupid but we see that the guy he actually gets up and he pours like one one of the sodas oh on on this nerd head and and I do think that was uncalled for but these guys were definitely taking it too far how how they actually wanted the guy to apologize because he was able to get with this idol that that they all love so much so I, I do feel like you know. He had never, he had never really, really did anything wrong, but I feel like, you know, the way that it kind of played out, both sides here are definitely wrong. And so at one point, you know, this guy is going around talking to girls, and we see, like, these thugs are tailing him. And clearly I knew right away that, you know, this right here was definitely not a good sign. I knew, I knew something was not, was not going to be right, and I was definitely right about that, because we see at one point... Like, right before he had left during, you know, Nice Murasaki first meeting him, Nice had gave him a card so that if he ever changed his mind about that apology, he could get in contact with him. And that way they were definitely smart. And so he actually contacts Nice and he, and he wants him to help because he sees that, that these guys definitely aren't leaving. And they even had weapons on them, so clearly that right there was definitely not a good sign. But we see that when, when Morale, I mean, when, when Art, when he goes to his brother's grave, because that right there, the first time that we saw the Black Cosmos in the series, we see that Morale is there with like this bouquet of Black Cosmos. And so right there, he's like planning to arrest them, but we actually get this like dialogue between them. And during that, you know, we actually learned that Morale, he is definitely crazy because he is somehow able to justify what he's doing because he actually wants to free, you know, Nice from the solitude that, that he suffers because we all know that he's the best minimum holder so clearly because he's on top, he's, he's all alone and Morale wants to like save him from that and, and we see that in the, during this flashback where we have Morale first like looking at Nice he just had this complete pedophile like smile on his face and it was just creepy and that right there you can tell is clearly when that obsession started so I definitely feel bad for Nice here because he is now suffering because of this guy. But I really don't think that like Nice is alone. Even though he is the best, it doesn't mean that he's alone. Because he actually does have the friend with him. And speaking of friends, when when Hajime actually, you know, shared her food with him, that right there surprised me. Because we all know that Hajime loves her food. So I was definitely shocked to see that, you know, she shared it. But that goes to show you how close her and Nice are. So that right there was a nice touch. I'm glad to see how strong their bond is. But we see at one point, you know, when when when, when Morale actually reveals the power to Art. And we see that he takes the form of his partner. I'm thinking that, you know, his partner has been dead for a while now. And I believe that every time we have seen him, it has to be morale. 
because I, because I don't think that we ever saw you know his partner and Morales together like 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 we seen R with him. So I do think that you know it was Morales that had killed that scientist, and that's how and that's how he's able to take that form. But now I feel like you know that might happen again because we see that you know Art was definitely a bit taken back, and and the way that Morales fights, he's definitely quick and powerful. I do like his fighting style. I will say that. But when he actually, you know, pinned, pinned Art down on the brother's grave, you know, I was thinking that, you know, maybe Morale would let him go and not kill him. Because we've we, we seen him, you know, have all these chances to take out Art and he never did it. So what happened, what happened at the end, you know, it really surprised me. Now, I will say that him getting stabbed, I, I, I did see that coming because I clearly, you know, I have, I have a feeling that I wonder what was going to get hurt. And even though Art really couldn't do much, I did not think that, you know, morale would go that far. And so we see, you know, after he pinned him, and and, and Art was saying that, you know, he'll always be a nice friend. That that right there, whatever there was, like, really touching. I'm glad to see how how Art was, like, standing up for nice so much. But when, when morale stabbed him, and, and we see that, you know, Art was trying to crawl away, I was definitely shocked that he went that far. But then we go back to, uh, let, let, let me go back to Nice, because we have him coming in like, like a complete badass when he used the power to like reach that guy quickly b before he was stabbed. And he like took out one guy w with a kick. And then, you know, they, they took out those other thugs. And we have all those nerds here who, who kind of like having a good time because they thought that this guy was going to get what he deserved and die. But that wasn't the case though, because, because we have... We have Art there, Murasaki, and the guy, and they just like throw one of the thugs on the table. And then we have this guy, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of coming toward one of the nerds. He was definitely, you know, kind of being a prick here. And Nice actually, you know, socked him. And then when the nerds were like thinking that possibly Nice was gonna hurt him again, you know, he just kicked the chair at them. So this was the first time that we ever seen uh, Nice get so angry. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually liked that a lot. But while he, while he was walking away, he told Murasaki that he was going to Art, and he actually, you know, called him. And when Art here was, like, crawling to his phone trying to get it, Murasaki, I mean, not Murasaki, uh, Morale, he, like, stepped on his hand to stop him. And so, then, then we have Morale saying something that we have no, we have no idea what it is, because, you know, there was no audio for that. So I do wonder, you know, what did Morale, you know, tell him? I'm definitely curious about that. But then I know where you know he just pulls out a gun and then shoot him multiple times. Now this now this death right here it is shocking I will say that because I did not think that morale was going to go this far. You know I thought that he might that he might you know leave him there bleeding out and possibly you know knife will come save him. But I I had no idea that he was going to shoot him like that. So sadly in this episode we got a major character death and this one is major because it was definitely shocking as well. So, this episode, I, I give it a good rating. It was a good episode that any was a shocker, but now I hate morale more than ever. But as always, guys, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe because that really helps me out. And you guys take it easy, and I will see you all next time.